guys and welcome back to another video here with angel b designs if you are new welcome if you're not welcome back um what i'm gonna do today is i am gonna do um i think it's four very quick very easy dollar tree projects that you can do in literally less than 10 minutes that are that make really good not i wouldn't say good gifts but they make decent gifts like if you're adding them to something else or you're trying to make a basket for somebody or whatever whatever the case may be um i have four projects here that i just i literally just ran to my local dollar tree and i picked these up and like i said these all make um really quick gifts okay so the first one is going to be the um the canvas now this is 100% cotton I will be sublimating on this um, but I'm gonna use a lamp a piece of lamination to do it and I will be showing you how um, the next one is going to be a set of three microfiber 100% polyester washcloths these are really really cute like if you're doing a home warming basket you can make a set with these um, and gift them in like a home warming basket the next is going to be um, I have some kids socks here. I'm going to put Sonic on these for my son. These are 100% polyester. There is three in the pack. Um, and like I said, for, I know my kids, um, they go crazy over socks. Okay. Anytime I make my kids socks, they absolutely wear them until they are completely ripped and have holes in them. Um, my kids love socks. I don't know about anybody else's kids. But when I put stuff like Sonic and Iron Man and stuff like that on my kids' socks, they go absolutely crazy. Um, so I'll be showing you that today. And then the last thing here is um, it's a Guild and Dry Blend shirt. This one is it's actually 50% polyester and 50% cotton. Um, I'm not sure if I want to try sublimating on this. I'm pretty sure because this is a gray shirt, I know how it's going to look. It's going to look dull because it's only 50% polyester. Um, so what I think I'm going to do with this one is I may just do um, heat transfer vinyl on this one. Um, because like I said, I'm pretty sure I know how it's going to look. Okay, so I think I'm going to do heat transfer on this one. But heat transfer vinyl is super easy as well. Okay. But all of these projects, if you already have, like, as long as you already have your sublimation printer set up and everything, and as long as you have your heat transfer material on hand already, all of these projects can be done in literally less than 10 minutes. Okay, so that's what I'm going to go ahead to do today and show you how to do these one, two, three, four projects. So go ahead and stick around. Okay guys, so I'm starting off with the washcloth here and I am just going to go ahead and press this um, at 400 degrees for 60 seconds. I have a piece of butcher paper underneath the washcloth to protect my pressing pillow um, from any ink transfer and then I did tape it down. I put the image face down and then I taped it and put another piece of butcher paper on top of it to protect my pressing plate. I am using the Cricut Easy Press 3 which does go up to 400 degrees and then I'm applying medium pressure to go ahead and get this pressed. Now I'm just going to go ahead and remove the butcher paper and the um, sublimation paper and there we have it all right so the next project I'm going to do here is the socks um, and what you want to do is you want to make sure they're all facing forward so you can press on top of it or if you want to press on the side whatever your preference is I'm gonna press on the top so I open them up you can use an insert if you have one um, or you can use a piece of cardboard um, I really didn't feel like getting any of that. I felt like it would stay as long as I put some tape on both sides of it, which is what I'm doing now. I do have a piece of butcher paper underneath the socks to protect my pressing pillow, and I'm putting a piece of butcher paper on top of them to protect my pressing plate. Again, I'm using the Cricut Easy Press 3, which does go up to 400 degrees, and then I'm using medium pressure, and we're going to go ahead and press these for 60 seconds.
All right, and the third project I have here, this one is not sublimation. This is the heat transfer vinyl. Um, I am using the Jet Opaque 2, I believe. I will have a link down below. I did get it from Amazon. Um, and then I am gonna use this heat transfer mask here, which I also got from Amazon, to go ahead and get it transferred um, onto the shirt so that I don't have to pick it up by hand. Now, one thing that you should probably do is like maybe take your weeding tool and just go around the edges of the image so that when you go to try to pull it up, it comes off of the paper easier. You're gonna see me struggle a little bit with trying to get it off of um, the backing and that's because like I said, I. I forgot to take like you would just take the tip of your little weeding tool and just go around the edges um, gently and then it will go ahead and pull up way easier than what I'm doing right now. And again, I will make sure I link everything down below uh, the pressing pillow, the butcher paper, the butcher paper cutter, um, the transfer paper, the heat transfer mask, um, everything. <laughs> I'm gonna try to remember, sometimes I forget a, a material here or there, but I will try to make sure I link everything I used in this video down below. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and lay the t-shirt down. I don't have to put a piece of, piece of butcher paper underneath it because this is not sublimation. Um, and then I'm gonna do a quick pre-press of the shirts. And then I'm just gonna place my image onto the shirt. Make sure it's nice and flat and there's no air bubbles. I'm gonna cover it with a piece of butcher paper just to make sure I don't burn it because I didn't turn my heat press down. So I did this at 400 degrees for 20 seconds. Normally, I would press this at 350 degrees for 50 seconds, but I didn't cool my heat press off, my um, easy press off so that's why I did it that way with this paper it is kind of a cooler peel so what I'm doing now is I'm just trying to cool the image off I'm using a t-shirt to kind of press make sure I press it down um, and help pull some of the heat out so I can go ahead and pull the transfer mask off all right and there we go And the last project that I have here, it ended up being an epic fail, but I'm gonna show you guys anyway because I like to keep it real on this channel. Um, I show you everything I do right as well as everything that I do wrong. So what I'm doing now is I'm starting off with some scotch lamination paper, which I did get from Amazon. I will link it down below as well. And I am cutting it in half. This is the eight and a half by 11 sheets. I also have the rolls, but I didn't need this for, I didn't need the roll for this project. Um, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go ahead and put the lamination sheet on top of your canvas. And then you wanna make sure that you cover your pressing pillow because the lamination tends to stick once you heat it up. Um, and then you're gonna cover that, the lamination paper, with the heat press. And then I'm gonna do this at 400 degrees for 10 seconds. I just wanna tack it down because we are gonna go ahead and press this a second time, okay? Now here's where I messed up at. I realized that in the middle there was kind of a little bubble there, but I thought that the bubble would fix itself once I pressed it the second time. Not realizing that I forgot to put something underneath my canvas to make sure that I had enough pressure. And you're gonna see that in a moment here. What I'm doing now is I'm just using my X-Acto knife to cut off the excess um, lamination paper off of the edges. And then, you know, you can clean it up later if you need to, but I just needed to get the excess off. Now, if you can see in the middle there, it kind of looks like there's a bubble. That should have been my sign to, hey, Angel, put something underneath there. And I wasn't even paying attention. Um, I was actually listening to a podcast while I was recording this. And I think, you know, my mind just wasn't, I just wasn't paying attention. Okay. So note to self, don't listen to podcasts while you're crafting because you're not going to pay attention to stuff that you should. So what I'm doing now is I'm just trimming the excess off and then I'm going to go ahead and um, tape this down with my sublimation tape. And then I have a piece of butcher paper underneath and a piece on top. And I am going to press this for 400 degrees for 60 seconds. Um, honestly, it didn't necessarily need the full 60 seconds. Um, I probably could have did 45 seconds. Um, but I mean, it didn't press anyway because, well, you'll see in a minute, okay? Again, I forgot, 
I forgot to apply something underneath that canvas to get that pressure. So you'll see what happened in a moment here. All right guys, so I'm back here and I have all of my projects sublimated and I wanted to just kind of talk about them for a second. Um, mainly it was this one. So, what happened with this? Um, basically what it is, this canvas, let me turn my ring light down a little bit so y'all can see, but this, um, this is not flat. Okay, and I forgot to keep this in mind when I was doing it. This is not a flat canvas. It's hollow here. So what I should have done was I should have put something in here to when I laid it down to create the pressure here so that when I pressed it, basically, essentially what was going on was this was kind of sinking down and it wasn't getting the pressure that it needed, which is why only the edges sublimated this is bl left blank because it sunk down so just keep in mind and I'm not editing this out the video because here on this channel I show I keep it real I show you everything that I do right and I show you everything that I do wrong because I'm not perfect okay so if you're looking for a perfect crafter this is not the channel for you but essentially all you want to do is put something underneath this part um you could put like a t-shirt, like you could really just like ball up a t-shirt or fold up a t-shirt. Okay, like this, and you can put it on top of it like that to create that pressure. Um, it doesn't have to be anything, you know, super crazy. You could put a t-shirt there. You just want to put something that is heat resistant underneath here to create enough pressure for you to be able to um, sublimate the middle part. Okay. So there's that. And then everything else, um, subbed really, really good. These are the socks. I did a shadow. It's from, uh, Sonic. My son is going to absolutely go crazy over these. Um, the next is the polyester washcloth. Like I said, you could do a set. It came out beautiful. And then this is, those were all sublimation. And then this is the heat transfer vinyl. Um, if I would have sublimated this, it wouldn't, the colors wouldn't have been this bright. It would have been like, especially this, uh, the white on his eyes and the white on his hands, those would have been gray. They wouldn't have been white at all. And then like this red probably would have been dull. The darkest thing that would have came out is the black. But then everything else like the red and the yellow would have came out pretty dull. So that's why I decided to go with the, um, the heat transfer vinyl on this t-shirt. But this shirt was $1.25 at Dollar Tree. And then I used one sheet of heat transfer vinyl, <clears throat> which probably cost 50 cents. So I made this shirt in less than $2. Okay. And it's definitely something that you could gift like to a little kid for their birthday, whatever the case may be. So I just wanted to show you guys some really quick, really easy um, Dollar Tree gift ideas or, you know, whatever the case may be. Just super quick, easy, simple projects that you can do with items from Dollar Tree. Of course, there is so much more at Dollar Tree that you can use. I have a couple other videos on my channel where like one where I sublimated the dry erase boards. I mean, there's, there's a, I have a couple of different projects on my channel, but there's a lot more that you could do from Dollar Tree. Okay. So that is all I have for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. As always, stay safe until next time. Bye.